All right, want to do a video on this crazy charismatic witch named Kat Kerr. Uh, so she makes some of the nuttiest claims ever, just stuff, stuff out of her own deluded mind. But we're going to read this interesting article on Protestia. Apparently she is now saying that, that there are kangaroos carrying a board of babies in their pouches in heaven. This is what she's saying. This is on Protestia. Charismatic prophetess says kangaroos carry a board of babies around in their pouches in heaven. Yeah, you can't make this stuff up. Of course, no scripture for any of this, but with the charismatics, the scriptures are not their final standard. The standard are just their own little, just their dreams and visions and their lying signs and wonders like it talks about in uh, Revelation 13 and 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, where the Antichrist will do, be doing lying signs and wonders. But it says, When Kat Kerr, our favorite pink-haired charismatic meme bot, and Dr. Michael Brown, approved prophetess, isn't waving an unbiblical tale of witchcraft and false theology by claiming she has a picture of thousands of lion-faced angels uh, angels frog marching, chained demons across the uh, chained chained demons across the sky, in order to go to heaven for judgment, or that miscarried babies are reincarnated for their next pregnancy, or that even there's a place called Jello Land in heaven that contains chocolate waterfalls and candy houses. Uh, she's explaining that aborted babies travel in kangaroo pouches in heaven when they're not being flown around by birds. On episode 76 of of Wednesdays with Cat and Steve. Chief Enabler Steve Schultz asks her if children are presented to God the Father in the throne room of heaven, to which Kerr has a ready response. You can't make this kind of stuff up, but you see this is this is the kind of fruit of this charismatic movement. These lying signs and wonders. Uh, like again, in the Antichrist in Revelation 13 will be doing lying signs and wonders by the power of Satan, according to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8 to 10. Satan will be given the Antichrist power to do lying signs and wonders. And, you know, visions are also considered signs and wonders. And these charismatics are getting their visions from devils. Plain and simple. They're getting their visions from demonic spirits. Uh, the god of this world, you know. Uh, 2, Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13 to 15 talks about how Satan's ministers come as the, as the ministers of righteousness. And how Satan himself appears as an angel of light. These people are ministers of Satan. But it says, uh, absolutely does have one, does have uh, he absolutely does it at one point. I think Jesus welcomes most of the children himself personally, especially those who are miscarried or aborted. He meets them first in any sadness that, and that would even try to get them, get into them, that he takes away. You know, if you are really shy, the child does not know people. They make friends with Jesus first and they love him. They'll love Jesus. He'll come read stories to them. He'll take them into the meadows and does, and does things with them. They'll go on rides on different animals like kangaroos. I talk all the time. I've seen him put little babies in a pocket and the kangaroo hops around. Wait, what? And the kangaroo's marospelum? Isn't it warm and damp and a bit slimy in there? What if the baby has some, has some ruse? What if, what if the baby already has some ruse inside? Uh, how many hundreds of millions of kangaroos are there up in heaven? That's how babies travel. She continues. Basically, there's this nutty claim she makes about, oh, the kangaroos are carrying babies around their pouches. It's just a bunch of delusional, uh, charismatic nonsense is all that it is. Birds will fly, she says, birds will fly little babies around. They're all going with Jesus to a picnic somewhere. And so a scene that you uh, probably wouldn't mind because you know, well, you would probably have a picnic in heaven because it, it, but it's because he loves them so much that they fall in love with him. And even though they don't have to, they want to receive him as their savior. Uh, and then, you know, the article says, we'll go on, let's see more, some more of your delusional charismatic fantasies. And so they have a ceremony in the throne room where they'll bring little flowers and they'll bring little bundies of a tiny flower, uh, like tiny daisies. And they will have this little grown, they'll have this little grown, little gown, sorry, on, uh, they all go before the throne room and they present it to Jesus Christ and say, I receive you as my savior. It's one of the best ceremonies to ever see when you're in heaven as you get to see the children being welcomed to heaven and that they accept Je and that they accept Jesus Christ and because they love him and they know what he's done for them. Uh, chapter and verse for any of this, book, chapter and verse? Of course not, because the charismatics, again, go by their feelings and experiences, even though Hebrews chapter 11, verse one says, faith is the evidence of things not seen. So when charismatics accuse you of not having faith, it's actually they who don't have faith because they're constantly demanding a sign and wonder, which Jesus Christ, by the way, rebuked the Pharisees for. In Matthew chapter 12, verse 39, in Matthew chapter 16, verse 1 to 4, he tells the Pharisees that the adulterous and sinful generation seeks after a sign. See, these charismatics are nothing more than the spiritual descendants of the Pharisees. Plain and simple. Don't be deceived by all this charismatic insanity. None of this, none of this unbiblical garbage has any basis in the Word of God, and none of these are biblical signs and wonders. They're from devil spirits. Plain and simple. So don't be deceived by this charismatic insanity. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.